Today we're going to show um, some very strong taste pasta. This pasta is, as usual, is very quick to do. Looks that there are a lot of ingredients, but don't get, be afraid. This pasta is with anchovy, olives, and tomato. We need some garlic, a little bit of spicy chili flake, oregano, and a drop of capers. Obviously we need salt, and olive oil, and standard oil, and the main ingredient, we need pasta. We put the, uh, the pot with hot water and we had a pinch of salt and we wait that the, past the water boil. Now we start with fry pan. We put some oil. To use half onion. And I will finally chop this onion, the, the finest you can, the best. And I will start frying the onion. I will add just a drop of salt. Now we start preparing the tomato for the sauce. We wait that the onion will cook a little bit, they will soften, and we start preparation of tomato. As you can see now, the onion are start cooking and soften. At this stage, we add an, just one glow of garlic, just a little bit. This is to give some extra flavor to this pasta. And we cook. We, we keep the, um, the garlic just 30 seconds or maximum one minute with, until they uh, start release the flavor. After adding the garlic, I will go and add the anchovy in the fry pan. All the full anchovy. And I will start smash because this is we need to be melted and mixed with onion and everything. Use you do with a spatula, a wooden spatula, so you don't damage the fry pan. As you can see now, the anchovy are almost melted. This is will add extra flavor to the, the sauce. We leave the anchovy cooking for almost a minute, just the soften a little bit. Now that the anchovy are melted and amalgamate with the onion and garlic, I may, after cutting the tomato, I will add tomato to start making our fresh sauce. Now we start to prepare the olive oil. I mix some green olives and some black olives together. I will add garlic.
a little bit of chili flake, a pinch of oregano, and just few of cuppers, not too much, just to give some wild flavor. I will add my olive oil. That is ready to mix. Once I mix all the ingredients together, I'm going to blend Once I finish to give a rough blend, I take out what I don't need. This is the final product of mix of oils. As you can see, now we have a creamy compost of olives. This will be put later on the pasta. After the tomato cook for a while, I squeeze this is a nice smell anchovy with this fresh tomato sauce. As you can see the water for pasta boil and I add the, my pasta and wait for pasta is cooked. More or less this is all the preparation time that you need to cook. As you can notice I almost make all the condiment for the pasta just before the water was boiling. So the, we need now to wait that the pasta will be ready. In the meantime the sauce will cook more and will be ready for us to eat. Now the pasta boil and it is nice and cooked. We will drain the pasta. Now the pasta is nice and drained. I drop on the bowl. Now that the sauce is ready, I will add my tomato sauce in here with anchovy. My next step is to add my combination of olives mix. Okay. That is, this will going to have a very strong flavor. This recipe is a nice recipe. One of the problem you may find is not add too much salt when you're cooking. That because we have olives are already salted, anchovy is a salted fish and already they have the natural saltiness. So I'm going to suggest you once you cook this pasta, try to boil the pasta with as little salt as possible and also when you fry the onion try to put the minimum amount possible of salt. Obviously you can adjust the salt later when it's in your plate. So enjoy your nice pasta with fresh tomato, anchovy, black and green olives. Thank you for watching.